All right, guys, uh, time for part three of Finland vinyl. Um, this will be the last part. So um, if you guys want, you can go ahead and vote for your next country or vote, vote for the next country in the comments. Um, I would say um, I mean I would say vote for either US or Germany I would say those are definitely the next two uh, other, those are two other countries I have a lot of black metal from uh, us I have a lot from Australia too um, but drowning the light that would <laughs> God, that, that's that. I mean, the drawing the light stuff is a video all by itself. So um, I probably would not do Australia just because of that. <laughs> and I've already done a drawing the light collection video. So if you really want to see that, you can go back to my. Uh, you can go back and find that video, even though the collection's updated since then. But yeah. So yeah, like I said, um, I would just vote for either U.S. or Germany, and then whichever one wins, I'll do that one next, and then the other one will follow. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're left off with some Satanic Warmaster, and we got some more Satanic Warmaster. This is the Revelation EP, um, put out through No Colors Records. Really, really good EP. Uh, this EP has one of my favorite uh, Satanic War Master tracks, uh, Sign of Fighter Storm. That's definitely one of the best Satanic War Master tracks for sure. Um, don't remember what year this one came out. It doesn't say anywhere on here, so yeah. Um, this was limited to uh, 2,000 copies. I have number uh, 1712, or one. 1,712, whatever. <clears throat> Comes with this nice uh, lyric insert. Very nice. Nothing on the back. So there was a thousand on black vinyl, and then there was like there was like five different or four different color variants, something like that. Um, so yeah, and then uh, side D is just uh, dead wax. Or it's not side D, side B. My bad. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, this EP is fucking fantastic. If you like Satanic War Master and you haven't heard this EP, definitely go, uh, definitely go give it a listen. They really should repress this soon because uh, the. The vinyl and uh, even the CD is kind of hard to come by, so uh, maybe at some point they'll think about uh, repressing these, because I know they did, uh, that's the Revelation EP, by the way, because I know they, this is the uh, most recent one they did, at least I think this one was a repress. Uh, this is the Of the Night uh, EP. Um, there's also, I think it's just a CD release that contains the Revelation EP and the uh, Of the Night EP on it, which is, it's called Revelation of the Night. So you could kill two birds with one stone if you could find a copy with that. So yeah, um, this EP is a little bit different. There's only two tracks on it, and they're both like 10 minutes long. Um, this stuff um, is kind of different than what, you know, Werewolf usually does. Uh, the tracks are more on the depressive side of things. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty interesting, um, EP, that's for sure. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, um, I do not like this album cover. <laughs> I just, I just, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't like it. I think, I think it's dumb, but whatever, that's, that's just me. But yeah, um, No Colors put this one out as well comes with um, a little lyric sheet just like the Revelation one. Uh, just black vinyl again. Um, dead wax on a side B. So you got both tracks on one side. 
That way you don't you don't gotta flip it after each track, which is kind of nice. Especially if you're just listening to a, an EP or whatever, it's kind of nice not to have to flip it. Um, comes with a poster <clears throat> of the artwork, which I've said it before. I will never hang this poster up. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, this EP is is very interesting. It's like I said, it's it's very different than the rest of his stuff. All right, that is the of the night EP, and next up we have the newest full length. From 2014, this is Fimble Winter. Fantastic album. Um, everything about this album is amazing. Great songwriting, great riffs, uh, great production. Really uh, makes me anxious to see uh, what what uh, what direction he's going to take with the next album. Uh, comes with a nice, thick uh, lyric sheet, picture of the band, and then lyrics. And then I got the, uh, it's like a clear vinyl with like a, like a brownie, brown kind of haze. Pretty interesting. Yeah, this, I mean, this album was basically everything Satanic War Master is known for. Uh, just the production was better, so. Alright, that is Fimbo Winter. Next up, we have the, uh, Split with Archgoat, uh, Lux Satane, 13 Hymns of Finnish Devil Worship. Um, excellent split. Um, everybody's, everybody's talked about this split, um, so not a whole lot to say about it. Basically, it's just re-recorded uh, songs by both bands, which are pretty good. Um, some of these on here I actually like better than the originals and and some and then there's some that I like the originals better but you know it is what it is. Uh comes with a thick insert. You got the side with Archgoat and the Satanic Warmaster side. And there were a few different uh variants. I got the uh the Oxblood red. Very nice. And you can pretty much uh differentiate between which variant it is because the uh i think the purple variant had purple lettering instead of red so and then i think the black variant was also purple as well i can't remember but i don't know which i guess i could have shown this with the, with my arch goat stuff but oh well I keep it I keep this split next to my satanic war master stuff but I don't know whatever <laughs> Alrighty, yeah so that is uh the satanic war master and archgoat split which I don't own a lot of splits like I think I only own like 3 splits on vinyl um yeah come to think of it yeah I I think I only own like 3 splits on vinyl All right, uh, this is a newer release from uh, last year. This is "We Are the Worms That Crawl on the Broken Wings of an Angel." Yeah, it's a long ass title that I always forget, so I had to make sure I got it right. So yeah, like I said, this came out last year. This is basically just uh, fuck. What is this? I think this is stuff from like splits and stuff. Maybe I don't know. I can't remember. I 
Yeah, I honestly can't remember what what stuff um, was compiled on here from from what uh, what the tracks were taken from. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that, but that's what Google's for. You guys can figure it out for yourself. <laughs> I didn't do my research. Uh, yeah, picture of werewolf, and then got some liner notes there, which you can't even fucking read it. Either you can read it; it would just take a while to you know, decipher each word. <laughs> but yeah, this is very cool. If you're a fan, I definitely recommend getting this. Like I said, I'm pretty sure th these are tracks from like splits and stuff with other bands. I don't know. Um, honestly can't remember. I could be wrong. Um, maybe some stuff from like EPs and stuff too. I don't know. Like I said, I don't remember. <laughs> um, got the clear vinyl. Very nice. This is like a crystal clear vinyl. This is not like the fucking, like, foggy fucking clear vinyl that, uh, that you usually see. And of course, uh, put out through Werewolf Records. Yeah, there's that. And this is the last Satanic Warmaster thing I have. This is Nova Ordo Aider. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. So yeah, this is a rehearsal from uh, 2009. It's basically just got a bunch of uh, classic Satanic Warmaster tracks on here. And then, like I said, it's, you know, it's, it's very raw. Like I said, it's a rehearsal. So yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty raw, but it's, it's still very enjoyable. Again, I recommend getting this if you're a fan like I am. So, and just black vinyl. Doesn't come with an insert or anything. It's literally just the record. It's just, it's a very simple release. Or, you know, it's, it, yeah, it's very simple. <laughs> and again, put out through Werewolf Records. Alright, um, so yeah, um... <laughs> I kind of realized when I was doing my last video that I kind of fucked up my alphabet and I realized I should have shown this band's stuff first, but I did not feel like redoing the that entire last video um, or even doing editing because I hate doing that shit. So um, I just said fuck it. So yeah, next up, we have a Sargeist with Satanic Black Devotion. Um... God damn, hopefully this is going to get repressed soon because, um, and they said this was, that they said that this was going to get a repress soon. Like, I think it was last year I was told it was going to get a repress, um, by, uh, by the official band page and I still have not heard anything yet. And I, I got, I just got, I got really impatient and, um, it was around, I remember, or it was around uh, this past Christmas. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm buying myself a Christmas present. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I just said fuck it. Um, but yeah, limited to uh, 400 copies. Released through World Terror Committee. I got number uh, 353. Very nice. Comes with a very nice uh, inner sleeve with uh, lyrics. And of course, you just got black vinyl. And there, and there was also a picture disc as well. Um, came with a poster too. Um, let me see if I can show you guys that. Right there. Yeah, very nice.
this camera back into position. Yeah, dude. Um, like I said, um, <laughs> when I got this, um, or when, when I ordered this, I was just like, I, I was so sick of waiting for a repress. I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even care. I was like, I'm just going to fucking buy it. I mean, this, this is one of my all time favorite black metal albums. Just pure fucking cold and grim. Great fucking riffs. <clears throat> Can't go wrong with this album at all. All right, that's Satanic Black Devotion, Sargeist. And next we have the follow-up, Disciple of the Heinous Path, uh, which is not as good in my opinion, but, you know, it is what it is. Also put out through uh, World Terror Committee, this the not not numbered though, um, limited to uh, six hundred and sixty six copies I believe, could be wrong. Printed inner sleeve lyrics, just black vinyl. I also forgot to mention that the uh, Satanic Black Devotion record came with a bonus track, and uh, this one does too, which is very nice. Uh, they were vinyl exclusive only tracks, so very cool. But yeah, like I said, this album is nowhere near as good as uh, Satanic Black Devotion, but um, it certainly does not change the fact that it is a great record. Um, it's got one of their best songs on it, though, which is uh, Remains, of an Remains of an Unholy Past. That is definitely one of the best Sargeist tracks. All right, so that is Disciple of the Heinous Path, and oh, uh, should get a new sleeve for this one, definitely. Uh, next, we have Let the Devil In. Sorry for the glare. Um, the, my copy still got the shrink wrap on it, so that doesn't really help. But yeah, Let the Devil In. So yeah, this one, I mean, um, for a while. I was kind of going back between Let the Devil In and Satanic Black Devotion. I was like, I don't know which one's my favorite. Um, they're both they're both different though in their own in their own kind of way. So, um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah. <laughs> Fuck. So yeah, got a very nice uh, printed inner sleeve, just like the other ones. And uh, just black vinyl, and got the labels. Um, again, um, this one was also limited to 666. Um, and then there was like, re there was a red vinyl that was like 111 copies or something like that. And then I know they did the same thing with this one too. There was like a, a splatter variant or something. I don't know. Yes, fantastic album. Again, just fucking godlike riffs. You know, just everything you would expect from, you know, a Finnish black metal band. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to say fuck this one. It needs a new sleeve anyways. Fuck it. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's Sargeist. Let the devil in. And next we have the most recent full length from Sargeist. Uh, 2014's Feeding the Crawling Shadows. Um, so yeah, this is definitely their weakest album. Um, they just... I don't, I don't know what they were doing with this one, but yeah, this album just, uh, it does not hit me like the other three albums do, that's for sure. Um, so I'm really hoping that their next full length with their new vocalist is a little, uh, is better, <laughs> but we'll see. 
But yeah, um, again, put out through World Terror Committee. It's a nice gatefold, as I showed. And just black vinyl. Basic labels. Where is it? Return of the Rats, though. That's a really good track, though. That's one of my favorite tracks from this album. Like I said, um, it's a good album. It's just weak, you know, compared to the other three. Um, and I'm sure uh, a lot of you would agree with me on that. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that's it for Star Guys. That's Feeding the Crawling Shadows. All right, so we got a couple more left, and these are just kind of like a couple random ones. Ooh. All right, so this is uh, T Loke with uh, Morbid Prayer. This is their debut album. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is probably, I'd be surprised if any of you heard of this band. Um, put out through Black Devastation Records. Not really a whole lot to say about these guys. Basically straightforward black metal. Comes with a nice uh, little lyric insert. And then uh, just black vinyl labels. This was uh, one of the, this is one of the records that um, that uh, Tuckin from Odal sent me. It's good stuff though, it's worth checking out. Definitely. Alright, yeah, so that is T-Lok with Morbid Prayer, and if you want to know how to spell it, it's right there. It's uh, T-E-L-O-C-H. I don't know if it's pronounced T-Lok or T-Lock. I don't know, but, yeah. And last but certainly not least, we have one of my favorite records from last year, White Death, their self-titled debut album. So yeah, I mean, this, can't really say too much about this album, because, I mean, everybody has been, you know, hailing the fuck out of this album for the better part of the last year, so, you know. Just excellent, excellent finished black metal. Poster. Had this one hung up for a while, but uh, I, actually, I swapped it out for uh, one of them. I don't remember which one. And got the silver vinyl. Very nice. Put out through Werewolf Records because <clears throat> Werewolf finds the best fucking, <laughs> he finds literally the best fucking bands to release, you know, to fucking release on his label. I don't know how he does it, but he does. <laughs> and these guys were killer live, too. I saw these guys back in uh, November. Uh, they played with Horna in New York City. That was an amazing show. Fuck. That was one of the best shows I've ever been to. All right, guys, yeah, so that's White Death, and, um, yeah, that concludes the Finnish Black Metal Vinyl Collection. So, yeah, um, hope you guys liked this one. Um, you can go ahead and, uh, put your votes in for, like I said, um, I would do either Germany or the U.S., and we'll just see which one wins. So, uh, yeah. 
That's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.